Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking Jook, the show where we pair good food and good music. My name is Yayo. Appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're going to make something that's really simple, something that I like to make for myself a lot. And it's really simple, really quick. And it's a turkey, ground turkey rice bowl. And we're going to put an egg on top of it. And you're going to love it, I hope. Um, I already got the rice going. I got some brown rice going. That's going to take about a half hour. It's been on here for about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this pan going and I am going to get, let's get some, uh, let's get some olive oil. Get some olive oil right here in the pan and we're going to chop up some peppers. Now I just happen to have these peppers on me. I, I tend to stay with these on me and I like to just like snack on them and stuff, but I need to finish them because they about to go bad. So... But they look good so far. Anyway, how was your day? My day was good. Had a good day at work. It was cool. Got paid today. That's always nice. And um, you know, got my got my ten thousand steps in for the day. So I'm happy about that. I try to do that as often as I can, and uh, try to do it more frequently. I uh, wrote some good content for a client, and I'm happy about that as well. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, there's like no taxes. I guess like the time of year with, you know, when I'm recording this video right now, it may not be when you watch it, but there's like no taxes, at least at the store. At the few stores that I went to, there wasn't any taxes. They're doing some, some back to school kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I may, I may step back out and do a little more shopping tomorrow. I'm trying to save a little money, but you know, if I can not pay taxes legally sure, why not why not why not so again today we're making a rice bowl really simple stuff but really in my opinion it just it it hits it hits and of course you can do this with different kinds of meat and different vegetables i just happen to have these laying around and like I said I gotta I gotta use them ASAP they're still good it's not like they're like on the verge but you know I just want to make sure that I don't let them slip because I'm good for that to be honest I'm good at letting stuff go bad so I promised that I would use them I told him directly I said I got you today I'm gonna put you in the game I'm gonna put you in the game you're gonna get some PT today that's playing time, not physical therapy. Well, you might need physical therapy after the game, depending on how the game goes. But anyway, I'm excited about today's song. Today's song is, it's a song that I've been vibing to for years. It's a song that I think, it's a sexy record. I'm not gonna lie. It's a sexy record. It's a record that I think is good to Drive at night, too, if that makes sense. Like on the highway, driving safely. Safely, but at a, I don't want to say a high speed. I don't, I don't, I don't want to push you to drive fast. But, you know, if you're doing the speed limit and the speed limit is 70, do the speed limit, you know. I think it's a good record for that. And if there's a, happens to be a young lady in the, in the passenger seat, I think it's really good for that. So. It's a vibe, just, just saying, just saying. If you're out there and you and you and you got a lady in the in the in the passenger seat, you may want to pay attention to what I got going on here. Cause this 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 disc, I was, I was gonna say this disc. This disc, I just said I wasn't gonna say that. This dish does a lot of things in my opinion. It has brown rice, which is good got ground turkey and I am using 99% 1% fat ground turkey but you don't have to go that high it's just what I prefer this is what I got right here this is gonna go in ooh, watch out now it's gonna go into the camera um <laughs> that's gonna go in the pan in a little bit I'm gonna get these peppers started because I want them to char a little bit and that's gonna take some time not a whole lot but Bring this pan up to half. 
about a five out of ten, and then we're gonna throw these in the pan. Put a little salt and pepper. Oop. And then I got some garlic, some onion, and we're gonna get this party started. But like I was saying, this dish. I thought it was. That's all right. It's going to start sizzling in, the, in about 30 seconds. But I, I was kind of hoping for like the but That's my bad. That's all right, though. It's still going to be delicioso. Um, let's get a little bit of salt in there. A little bit of salt. It's about a teaspoon. That's not even a teaspoon. That's like a, maybe a half a teaspoon. Pepper, should we go with the cracked pepper? Just, nah, right, not right now. We're gonna go cracked pepper a little bit later. It's already starting to sizzle. We may add some onion powder, garlic powder later on. I'm gonna keep this over here on deck just in case. And uh, we're gonna chop up some garlic. So like I said, this dish is colorful. This dish is kind of low fat, you know, considering the, the turkey. You know, like I said, we're gonna throw an egg on top. That's like, what what is like the what takes it over the top for some people they like to put eggs on stuff so i'll be honest growing up i did not like fried eggs at all i thought they were disgusting disgusting and typically i eat scrambled eggs i eat an omelet all day and a fried egg, I typically, if I'm eating a fried egg, I'll put it on top of something. I got like something like this, a burger. But that's something that for me happens in like the last few years. Never like fried eggs. Still, it's a, a texture thing for me. This dish cooks up pretty quickly. It's easy to eat. And for some people, it has like that wow factor of the egg. Ooh, wow. You, know, you, you cut through the yolk and it, it does an oozy thing. And we're going to see if we can get that. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to chop up this onion. Now, typically, I, I do this with like two pounds of ground turkey. I have one pound. So that's what I'm working with. I just happen to have this in the fridge. You know, this outer layer is kind of neat. It's all right, but it's not. You're not an all-star. I'm going to take that, that layer off. All right. Same with you. You're not an all-star. All right, cool. I'm gonna give these peppers a stir in just a second. Give them a little flip on. Not like little flip, but you know, you know what I mean. Shout out to little flip though. How you doing, flip? H Town, Chunk of Deuce, what it do? That's not the song today, by the way. Not that I wouldn't use a little flip record, but that just is not. That's not what we're going for. Like I said, this record is a sexy record. And when it comes to today's dish, it makes me think of a conversation that I had with a, a lady. Nothing crazy, just having a conversation. We were talking about food, and I think her family was from Taiwan, if I remember correctly. And uh, we were just talking about food. And she's like, you know what? For me, rice, meat, egg. That's it. That's what I need. That is all I need. Rice, meat with an egg on top. And I was like, noted. Noted. So, fellas, just saying. There's some ladies who just want rice, meat, egg. You ain't got to go crazy. It could be white rice. You can get a bag of rice for a dollar from the dollar store. Some dollar stores are going to buck twenty-five. They they tripping. You know who you are. It may not it may not seem like a lot, but that's twenty-five percent. That's that's a big percent. When you look at it percentage-wise, that's a big deal. 
So we're gonna let these go for another minute. I'm bring that to about eight out of 10 as far as temperature goes. So yeah, rice, meat, egg. And uh, you can go white rice. I have brown rice. I have brown jasmine rice, if I remember correctly. You can go white rice, meat, obviously. You can switch it up, ground turkey, chicken breast, chicken thighs, beef, turkey, you know, just not like ground turkey, but other turkey, but you can switch it up. Obviously, you can go veggies, switch it up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add these uh, onions and the garlic, and then we're gonna add the turkey. I'm gonna brown everything. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, probably some turmeric to give it some color. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna cover it and just let that kind of stew for a little bit. And that's it. Then we're gonna fry the egg. And I'm gonna show you how it comes together. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'll be back. Let me put these in the in the pan for a minute. And then I'll be back, my bad. I'm excited about today's record. Today, today's artist is the sun and he i don't know if he hates this if he does my my apologies i don't mean to like connect you to your father but you know i'm my father's son my father has done some great things in his life and i'm proud of him and i'm proud to be his son not to say that any of us are perfect but i'm proud to be my dad's kid so i hope that you're proud to be your dad's kid but i don't know you i don't know you but today's uh Today's record is by an artist whose father is a legend. Legend. Now, I dare you to guess who it is. I dare you to guess. I'll give you a couple of hints. Father won a Grammy, if I remember correctly. If I am incorrect, I will put the correction up somewhere on the screen, but I believe Dad won a Grammy. Uh... Dad performed theme music for a very popular TV show. I believe Dad is said to have had perfect pitch, which is a big deal. That's a little bit too musical for my. I don't, I don't know how to explain that in layman's terms. I don't. I don't know that much. I'm like. I know like bars and hip hop and beats and stuff like that, but as far as like what's perfect pitch, like I, I don't know. It sounds really good. That's what I think. I don't know. Um, and low key, I gotta thank my dad because my dad put me onto your dad. So shout out to pops. My pops connected me to your pops, and and now that's what's popping. So um, yeah, this, this record is, is a really dope record. Like I said, sexy um, makes me want to drive fast at night, and you know just look over to. To that pretty, the pretty, pretty lady over there, and just say, "Hey, and that's it." But anyway, let's add these onions and this garlic, man. Right, so you hear that? Huh? Can you can you hear that? That rice is just about done. You want to check out the rice real quick? Before we do that, let me get that little bit. And it's cool that the rice is done. I wanted that to finish early because I'm probably gonna steam it for a little bit longer than uh, than I wanted to cook it for. Because usually, not always, we'll see now. But it, it, a lot of times it needs a little extra oomph, <coughs> in my opinion. So I'm gonna check this rice out real quick. Right, I'm gonna bring, let me bring you over here so you can see it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> 
right, so that's how we're looking on the rice tip. We'll give this a little stir. Let's see, see what we're looking like. To the hand with the spoon, I kind of feel like it needs just a few more minutes, but I could be wrong. I'm going to taste it. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think it's done done, but I want it to be done done done. Right. So I'm just gonna add a, a little bit more water, a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna just let it finish steaming. Put the heat on low for like another 10 minutes. We'll be good to go. Get these vegetables to stir. Add a little bit more salt. Well, first I'm gonna add this turkey. And uh, that's gonna cook for like 10, 15 minutes-ish. About 10 minutes. And food will be done. We gonna throw that egg. All right, Let's see what we got here. Let's throw this turkey in here. Add a little bit more oil to this. Remember this turkey has essentially no fat on it. Add a little more salt and pepper. I say it's about a, it looks like I'm sprinkling a lot but the holes are really small. So I'd say it's probably about a half a teaspoon, maybe. And then some pepper. Like I said, we may go garlic and onion powder. I'm gonna go tasting as I go. And this is a high heat spoon. Hey, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Get you a high heat spatula, high heat spoon. You're worth it. I'll try to link to some below if I can. If they're affiliate links or not, I'll let you know. So I'm going to try to see if I can point you in the right direction. So I got the temperature at about 7 out of 10. Then we got the right low. It's essentially done, but I wanted to steam just a little bit longer. I'm gonna keep breaking this up and stirring it. You don't need to see all this. I'm gonna just do this for a few minutes. And I mean, unless you're into that, I mean, if you're into like ASMR and stuff, actually, no, you know what? Because the camera that I have recording this shot right here doesn't have a good microphone on it. So, either way, man, if I need to, I'll cut away. No, seriously, I want to cut. <laughs> Let's cut. All right, y'all, and we're back. Welcome back to Cooking Jook. We have the ground turkey, turkey, in, and I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric to change the color a little bit, give it a little bit more personality. We're going to cook that for just a couple more minutes, and then we're going to add some water to that. Then we're going to cover it and cook it for, I don't know, seven-ish minutes, maybe. We'll see. And then I'm going to get the egg going. I actually have 
a little bit of butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this pan. I have warming up in the back. And we're gonna fry an egg in there. And that's it. Then we're gonna plate this up. That's it, you can see the turkey already changing color. I try to add things like turmeric for color, but also turmeric is really good for you. Unless you're allergic to turmeric. I don't know if that's a thing, but I've seen Stranger Things. Not the show, but that's the show, right? Stranger Things? Um, low key, I wish I would have used my bigger pan. I got like a, not like a wok, but it's, it's wok ish. Walky. You can see that color. See that color coming through. It's nice. Adds a nice little punch. It's gonna look nice when I take a picture. Remember to take a picture. Remember to take a picture. Grab my phone. I almost never use this to take pictures and I'll probably use this. Let me let me just leave this right here so that I do not forget. I'll probably still forget. So again, like I said. Really simple. Rice, meat, egg. The veggies, the peppers and all, that's extra. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. Um, while I was away, it made me think of a conversation that I was having, not with the young lady I was talking about before, but when I was in college, I was talking to this one girl. Again, just a conversation. I wasn't like talking, talking. We were just having a conversation. She was gorgeous. She was from Jacksonville. She went FAMU J School. She was from Jacksonville. I ain't gonna say her name. She was gorgeous. Um, and we were talking about like going out kind of sorta and how she like, like guys who can cook and she's like she mentioned rice and meat that's what i rice and meat she like rice and meat and i was like i can i can i can rice and meat <laughs> but ultimately i backed off because i had a girlfriend and i was being faithful be faithful to your girl man i hope you're doing well lady from jacksonville who I was remarkably attracted to. She had a little short, little mushroom, I don't know what that's called, a little bob, whatever. It was still so fine. Little Southern girl. Good people too, she was cool. I used to catch up people all the time in class. I used to be like this, like that. And she'd be looking at me all the time. Thank you for making me feel gorgeous and handsome and beautiful. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I really do. I hope you're doing well. I don't know if you're married or not. If you're married, I hope that your marriage is going well. If you're not, I hope you just do well in general with your job and your money and your family. Water. In a deep pond. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got to love that. You got to love that. Come on, camera. You, are you getting that? You getting that, camera? Camera B? That's nice. All right. You gonna give that a little stir. That's my calendar telling me to go to sleep. No, no, not yet. Not at least for another hour. Not yet. I know I shouldn't be cooking this late at night. We've had this discussion. I, I get it. I'm not perfect. Leave me alone. I'm gonna lower this temperature to about medium. Give it a little taste. I'm gonna add a little more water. All right. Right now, I haven't added any additional salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, anything else. But we're gonna see. We may come back for a little, a little extra. You know what I'm talking about? Let me give this a little taste real quick. That might need a little bit. But I'm going to chill for now. I'm going to cover this real quick. I'm going to let it cook for a little bit. And... Uh, 
We shall see. I'm trying to think. Should I should I talk about today's song right now? Or should I wait? I'm going to wait. I'll be back. Cook and joke. Don't go anywhere. Hey, do me a favor. This video right here? Or is it here? I don't know. Where is that? It's up here somewhere. Open that in a new tab. Watch that later. Watch this first. Don't leave this video. But watch, watch this video. But stick around. Cook and juke. We back. Got the ground turkey going. Rice is ricing. And we gonna get the egg egg in. All right. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Welcome back. So we've had the cookie turkey for a few minutes, and uh, I added like a little pinch of extra turmeric just to give it a little bit more color. So we're gonna let that keep doing its thing. We just put this over to the side. Rice is done. Okay, hey, behave, behave. I should have bought my, my pot holder. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick, one second. All right. I'm gonna put this over here. All right. Keep the pot steady. All right. So, turkey's good to go. I'm gonna let that continue to cook for a few minutes. And in the back, I have an egg about to cook. So let me, let me get this camera over here so y'all can get the egg action over here. So you, you can get the eggs egging. And did you know that you could add a little bit of character to your fried egg? I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. Paprika! Wait, no, wait. oh, I haven't opened this one yet. I have like 17 bottles of paprika. Can I get one that's open? Hey, you, hey, you, where you at? Yo, son. Yo, where you at, son? Yo. I could have sworn that was open. You just messed up my whole flow. Like, I, I was about to come in and just just come in and kill the track. And you just, like, you hit pause on me. You tripping. I got to open this. And uh, are you even paprika? I know I have another. That's bothering me now. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. No, the garlic powder. <laughs> All right, I remember, yo, I remember, I remember this. I will not forget. You tried me, man. You tried. Come on now. Oh, now you don't want to. Why you want to be a little, why, why you being a little right now? Okay. I'm trying, I try to keep it non-violent. And I got to go to stab me. All right. Anyway, so we got some paprika. It's going to add a little color to the base of the egg, if that makes any sense. You don't need to do it. This is just me being extra. This is, I feel like being extra. That's it. That's the only reason. It's going to add some color to the egg. That's, that's it. Could add some salt and pepper to it. I'll probably add a little bit, of, a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bougie. I'm gonna go pink Himalayan and cracked pepper. All right, and then we're gonna get to today's record. Let me give the turkey a stir. Thank you for behaving well, turkey. Thank you for, like, you made a little bit of a mess, but not one that's like uncontrolled. It's not like the Exxon was it Valdez spill or nothing like that. Wasn't that bad. I appreciate you. I really, really do. All right. So now I'm going to get this egg. You don't have to have the heat super high. I have a little bit of butter and some olive oil. I'm going to just throw it in the pan and let it do its thing. I hope this pan behaves because I'm not gonna lie, the last time I made something in this pan, it was tripping. Super tripping. Super, super tripping. Tripping food. Alright. You 
See, I'm leaving it alone. Let me get a bowl so we can plate this up real quick. Oh, I'm tripping. I didn't even turn on my lights. Something told me, like, don't turn the light off. You have enough battery to go through it while you're not recording. So, my bad for those of you who are in the dark. I apologize. Okay, so the egg is egging. Let me get a little bit of pepper on there. That's nice. A little bit of salt. That too is also nice. That's all you need. You could add some hot sauce on here. I have 17 hot sauces. I moved them. I had them over here on a little carousel. I moved them over there just so I could. I'm trying to make some room over here. Let me get this out of the way. Don't want you to see today's artist. Not yet. And I need to get a camera set up over here, over here somewhere, so I can get the, you know, when you cut the egg and it, the, the yolk just like oozes all over the place. I'm trying to get that shot, so forgive me. And that egg is coming along nicely. Please behave. I will totally cook another egg if necessary. And I will blame the government. I don't know, somebody. Somebody will catch the blame. Let me get this out the way. Let me clean, clean as you go, folks. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Shout out to everybody who's in community college. Or whether you're at a four year, whatever, it doesn't matter. Shout out to, to Pasadena City College, my old stomping ground. Shout out to, to Citrus College. Shout out to LA City College, LACC. Um, shout out to LA Trade Tech. Those are all my old stomping grounds. Not as a student, but as a teacher. Um, I, I, I taught like different stuff. I didn't teach like regular college classes. Ooh -wee. Shout out to uh, El Camino College out there in, L in the L.A. area. I love them. Shout out to all the foster care programs out there. I was on the advisory board for a lot of the foster care programs. And I taught like life skills and stuff like that. So a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good folks. Good students. Good times. All right. So I'm going to start plating this. Because that egg is about to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get brown rice. See that thing steaming, boy. Me and my click be sizzling in hot steaming. All right. That's a good amount. Yeah, no, I'm going to stop right there. Let me give this turkey a little bit of more taste. I've just let it cook. It smells amazing. Mm. Cut it off. A little hot sauce wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna get just plain Jane. Hot sauce. This could benefit from a little more salt, in my opinion. All right. But of course, adjust accordingly to whatever your tastes are. I'm going to turn this egg off. That egg looks like it's ready to go. Turkey going. Oof, that's beautiful. 
a little bit of that liquid, not too much. We don't want it to be too soupy. All right. A piece of this napkin right here. See if I can wipe off some of this excess stuff on the side to make it look a little more more professional. Not that I'm a professional because I'm not. It's a little more presentable. I don't know if that's working, but it looks good still. It looks appetizing, I'll say. For somebody cooking at the crib, it looks all right. So, egg is good to go. All right now, hey, beha hey behave, oh behave. All right, egg is good to go. I don't even want to pretend like it's my turn right now. It's not. Let's go here. You see this egg right here? See, so got a little color on it. Look at that. I believe the young lady from Taiwan would approve of that. So let me just. Thumbnail. All right, so here we are cooking jug. I'm about to dig into this egg yolk. We got the ground turkey and the rice. I gotta do the, the shot. Excuse me. Let's, let's do that. Some people, they're into that. <laughs> they really are. I gotta do it for them. But we have some brown rice, ground turkey with some egg on the top. See that? See that steam coming off? do like a Mark Wayne's face, but that's Mark's thing. I don't want to make faces like that. He's dope. If you don't, if you don't know who Mark Wayne's is, you're one of like nine people on YouTube because he has like millions and millions, millions and millions and millions of views. F food, YouTube channel, blogger, traveler from Thailand. He's dope. Mm. This is like the sexiest comfort food ever. Fellas, I told you earlier, I was talking to a, a woman who, like I said, I believe was from Taiwan, who said, for me, like, my favorite thing is rice, meat, egg. That's this. And then in college, I was talking to another young lady who had a huge crush on her. And she was like, rice and meat, that's it. works and these were women who were just different like one was african-american southern girl country girl you know 19 20 years old and the other one was you know from taiwan or china late 20s in grad school meat and rice Mm. 
It's a beautiful thing. And you can eat it with a spoon. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Today's song. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's so fantastic. Come on. Come back. Yeah, come back. Come back here. Come back here. Today's song. Is a very sexy record. Like I said, the artist is the son of another artist who's had a lot of success. And my dad put me onto your dad, Mr. Artist, sir. I thank my dad for that. And I thank your dad for making the art that he made. Because. My dad has exquisite taste in music. I can't help it. So, this record. is called Broken Vibes. By a gentleman named Taylor McFerrin. I've been vibing to this record probably... This record is 12 years old. I've probably been vibing to this record for about maybe three, four years. Right now, it only has 300,000 views, 310,000, which I think is super under where it needs to be. One of the things I love about this record is that it's eight minutes long. Eight minutes long. And some of you are wondering, you keep mentioning the dad. Some of you already know. When you hear the name McFerrin, you know who I'm talking about. Taylor McFerrin's dad is Bobby McFerrin. And if, forgive me again, Taylor, if you don't want to be connected to your dad, but you know, it is what it is, you know? I'm connected to my dad through my name. Bobby McFerrin, if you're not familiar, if you ever heard a song that goes, don't worry, be happy, that's Bobby McFerrin, that's Taylor's dad. Grammy Award winning artist. And I don't want to reduce Bobby McFerrin to one record because he's much bigger than that. You know, he did the theme song for The Cosby Show for a long time. Some people say he has perfect pitch. I don't know enough about pitch to talk about it, but it, that seems like a very, very high compliment. And um, yeah, like, it's a big deal. And I want to give Taylor his props, and you know, I want to make sure that I don't live anything, or I don't leave anything. I'm going to go according to the Wikipedia article, if it's correct. If not, forgive me. But it says Taylor McFerrin, born San Francisco, California, American DJ, music producer, keyboarder, beatboxer, based in Brooklyn, New York City. He's the eldest son of popular vocalist and classical conductor, 
Bobby McFerrin. And the genres are beatbox and future soul. And you will definitely hear that in this record. A lot of beatboxing. Maybe some scat singing. Which is like, you hear skippity wee bop, boop bop, ba doo. Like, just, you know, singing without words. It's super dope. And um, he's connected with folks like Robert Glasper, who is super dope. I'm definitely going to get Robert Glasper on here. Robert Glasper is just a musician, producer from Houston. Crazy. Um, but yeah, this record is a dope record. Sexy. It's it. It looks like when I hear it, it, it looks like black and dark blue, and it's, it's sexy. And I, I see like freeway lights just kind of passing me. And um, again, like I said, I keep I keep thinking about women who I had conversations with about food. And they talk about rice and meat, and this is rice and meat. And if you want to throw the egg on top, that's optional, but some people they dig that. Mm. There's another video up here if you want to check it out. Or here, I don't know. Tyler McFerrin, Broken Vibes, super dope record. Just takes me to a place that very few records take me. Like I said, very sexy. Just laid back and chill and just grown up vibes. Broken vibe, but grown up, if that makes any sense. And uh, I want to thank Taylor for making that record. Cooking Jug, Taylor McFerrin, Broken Vibes, dope record. Thank you, Taylor, for making this record. I love it. Thank you for making the eight minutes. It could have been 18 minutes, and I would have loved that. Um, I'm looking forward to just learning more about Taylor's music and just getting deeper into his discography. And, uh, man, just keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. And, um, yeah, man. Just rock out, man. Good stuff. Super dope record. Taylor McFerrin. Broken Vibes. Super sexy record. Soulful record, too. And... Put it on repeat. It really is a dope record. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this meal. Again, we got the ground turkey rice bowl with the egg on top. From what I heard, ladies like it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out cooking jerk. My name is Yayo. Thank you for stopping by. God bless. Peace.